Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics and we're here to review this plant growth experiment and these four plants were grown in contact with the ground and the ground around my home is electrified so I actually manufactured these plant bases they have a piece of foam in them and they're covered in foil if you look at the bottom of the plant you can see that we've got foil going into the bottom of the plant pot to connect the plant into the ground that it sits on and this one right here this one was actually grown in my bathroom which is at the back of the home and it's as far away in my home as you can get from the ground rods on the tile floors and as you can see it's actually looking very very healthy and just to give you perspective on the size of these leaves they're just a little bit smaller than my hand typically on the Diefenbachia the leaf size is about the size of the entire hand so these are a little bit smaller than that but you can see that they've got all the patterning in them and they look somewhat like the original leaf and in fact this is an original leaf down here so that's what the original leaf is supposed to look like so these are a little bit of a miniature version of a full leaf and this particular plant this flooring is the least electrified flooring in the home so I wasn't too surprised to actually see it produce the best growth pattern so this one right here this one was grown as close to the street as you can get on my tiled flooring you can see the growth is quite different and this appears to be the growth that this plant put up so it's a much darker green very little patterning and smaller leaves so growing it close to the street has actually had some significant effects on the growth of the plant and I wasn't surprised to see this because that particular flooring is quite electrified due to its proximity to the streets which I have established is actually electrified with stray voltage from the utility power company so this is definitely a stray voltage exposed plant so this is the next plant this was grown in my kitchen now my kitchen tile floors are as close to the fuse board as you can get in the home and also as close to the electrified stray voltage ground that you can get in my home and this is even more deformed see that the leaves are shiny very little patterning and they're quite different to what they should look like so it's a very interesting effect you can see that the original leaves were quite different and were much larger and much more patterned so it's definitely being affected by stray voltage and this one may also be being affected by the transmitting utility meters so this one really got a double whammy so as you can see it's much much more deformed than the previous two so this one here was actually grown outside the home as close to the fuse board as you can get in my back garden and this one is also very deformed but the reason why the deformity is different is because the radiation levels are very different outside because of the natural light that you get from sunlight this is predominantly grown in the shade and you can see that the leaves are actually very very small on it so they've retained some of the patterning but this was the last leaf to come up and you can see it's almost lost its patterning it's very very small in relation to my hand you can see that we've got much more yellowing taking place on this plant now how does this contrast to the control well, all the controls in my home grow like this so my home is between six to seven hundred meters away from cell phone towers and this is what all of the controls grow like regardless 
of where I put them in the home. So you get a much smaller leaf come and go. And they're patterned, they're like a miniature version of the full size leaf. And this is very repeatable. You see this throughout the controls in my home right now. So before I took all my wireless devices out of service, the year before, these would have been dark green leaves, much smaller dark green leaves. So I had a very significant wireless radiation problem at my home. And that was coming from utility transmitting meters and also all of the wireless devices that I bought. So when you take them out of service, you actually get much more improved growth on the controls. But as you can see, stray voltage exposure does very strange things to plants. And it's in line with what I observed with my own health, and that is when I was walking around in contact with these tile floors, I was actually getting very, very sore knees every summertime, and that matches the stray voltage season here in Tucson. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.